People living here in the Orchard Hills Mobile Home Park were without water for about seven days last week. Water has since been restored to some people, but others are still having issues and say they are being kept in the dark about what's going on. Sometimes like we'll have water, sometimes we won't. It will like split and then sometimes we'll just have like a drop of water and then sometimes we won't have water. Since November 17th, people like Lisa Thomas, who live in Orchard Hills Mobile Home Park, have been dealing with water issues. We were out of water for a week um, right before Thanksgiving. While the water was shut off, people living in this neighborhood had to rely on this spigot for water, which for some people like Lisa wasn't the easiest to get to. I have um, tendonitis in my ankle, so it hurts when I walk a lot. We had to go purchase water to drink. We had to carry buckets of water. People in here elderly, disabled, cannot get their own water. People had to get water for them. Water was back on Black Friday, but then shut off again Tuesday for several hours. Wednesday morning, the water was on, but cloudy. People living here tell me some people received letters from the property manager about what's going on, but many did not. And I feel we're at the back burner of everything. Every time there's something goes on, we're always put last. I think it's not important to them, but they're not the one that actually has to go through it in this park. They're, they don't live in here. They live somewhere else. I tried calling the property manager to get answers about what is going on, but was told I would have to leave a message for the manager. People living in the neighborhood tell me they've left several messages as well, but none of their calls have been returned. With this ongoing water issue, people living here believe they now deserve more than answers. I feel that we should be compensated for being without water for a week, but they don't want to do that. Some people living here have heard they will be without water again tomorrow and don't know this time how long it will last. In Carroll Township, Perry County, Chelsea Kerbler, Fox 43 News.